Hey, what's up? Siri Emerald here. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Really good seeing you. This is going to be an unboxing video of the Hot Toys MMS 338, Sideshow number 902900, Iron Man Mark IV from Iron Man 2. Some people call this the Shanghai release. I'm calling it the re release. It's not die cast. They haven't made an announcement yet of the Mark IV die cast, but because the Mark IV and the Mark VI are very similar, it's only a matter of time before a Mark IV does get made in a die cast, I would anticipate. So here we have the package. I can't compare it to the original Iron Man 2 Mark IV because I bought the one that comes in the gantry, so you don't get its own box. So the piece comes with the gantry. But we see we have the Sideshow exclusive because this is a, an exclusive item only available at select retailers. When they first released it at the Shanghai, they never said anything about it being available at, at, at any place else. So I'm very happy to see this. It took it several months. I mean, I don't even know how long. There's the side of the packages here. It actually looked like they're identical images on both sides. There, those are identical images. On top it says Iron Man 2, on the bottom it says Iron Man 2. And on the back we have some information about the figure and Hot Toys. And it's a shoe box style box, so we'll just plop it on out of here. And here we have the picture on the inside of the box. Here is the figure. So in the package we have just very basic, nothing fancy, no extra pieces, no head sculpt, no glasses, no donut. We do get batteries and there's a seven-sided figure stand in there, so let's get it out of the package. So this Iron Man Mark IV comes with a pair of repulsor palms and we get a pair of articulated hands right here that have the joints. So you have three joints in the fingers, two joints in the thumb, and you can put these into any position that you want. Two of those and of course the figure. And the tape actually wasn't wrapped on there real tight this time, on that leg at least. That one's definitely on there, so I'm pulling it off again. And he is not die cast whatsoever. There's nothing on him that uh, is die cast. So there's his little fist and his head. And it is the old style head where the, the lights go into the neck. Let's put some batteries in and get them lit up here. All right, so here's the instruction manual for Iron Man 2 Mark IV. And right here, we have some warnings on it. Don't mix the batteries. Don't look at the LED light directly. It may be harmful to your eyes. And it says batteries are not included. I had to reply that that was for warranty issues. I also had somebody tell me one time that they don't include batteries in like certain countries. So maybe that's what this was. This was originally supposed to be for the Asia market only. This is when Hot Toys first announced this several months ago. So I'm not sure which that means. So it shows here how to remove the head and where the batteries go in the neck. But this is the old style. So this is literally a recast of the original Mark IV. The batteries go in the, uh, the back for the chest arc reactor. AG9 out of 936. Big ones right there and the on-off switches underneath the, the flap right there. And it shows where the batteries go in the bicep, on the back of the bicep, and on the inside of the bicep where the on-off switch is, how the chest piece is removable, how the flaps can be lifted up, how the back of the calves can be lifted up, and how the waist can be extended for improved articulation. And here's the Mark IV right here, getting lit up. So the batteries in the neck were extremely difficult to get in, and that's where I just turned those on. It's not really bright. And it's faulty. So I have a faulty piece. And well, that's not cool. Let's get him put back on there. And here's where his chest uh, comes on and off, right here. Nice and bright. And then we'll interchange uh, this for some repulsor hands. So you can see those.
So this is literally a recast of the original Mark IV. And it was one that also, like the Mark VI, suffered from what is referred to as the pink panties, where these will fade out from the UV sun over time. And I can see looking at this again, that it is just a little bit of a different sheen to it than the hard plastic pieces are. This is definitely, you know, still the rubber, just like it was before. And there is just a little bit of different sheen on it. So will it fade out again? It's completely likely. I couldn't tell you one way or the other. Got a little paint rub coming from uh, Hot Toys there where it rode in the bottom of the case. Right there. But, um, so I don't know what to expect in that regards. But this is literally the Mark IV. There is no difference in the construction of it from the original Mark IV. So if you missed out on a Mark IV and you want to add this one to your collection if you're trying to build the original 7, this definitely gives you that opportunity to do that. Little calves lift up here, like it says in the instruction manual. And they painted that in there. And he's identically articulated as the original. So you have all the same articulations that the original has. The only thing that comes off on him is his chest here. So let me just pull this off. Like such. And it attaches with the pegs right there. Now, between the Mark IV and the Mark VI, there are really only slight differences. So this is the Mark VI that was just re-released as well. And side by side here, without the chest piece on, you'll notice that there's virtually no difference in them. Looking at them straight on here. The arc reactor is a different shape itself inside the chest. But other than that, you're really looking at the same suit. Same thing here on the back. You're really looking at the same suit. So, with the release of the Mark VI diecast coming out towards the end of the year, I don't see why they won't have a Mark IV also. Now, where some of the differences start playing in is in the paint of the biceps and the inner elbow and the little um, pieces on his ribs there were their silver versus the gold and then on the knees you have the silver for the mark six and the red for the mark four and on the thighs other painted gold versus red so as everybody likes to point out oh my god it's a repaint oh my god it's a repaint here <laughs> you could truthfully say is one of the biggest pieces of repaint that they've ever had. Uh, the Mark IV to the Mark VI in Iron Man 2. So the Mark VI is a very popular suit and all it is is a Mark IV with a triangle arc reactor. And the arc reactor, truthfully, is not triangular like, for instance, the Mark 33 arc reactor is triangular. It's a round arc reactor with a triangle uh, in the middle of it. Uh, well, it is a triangular arc reactor, but it's still round. And all they have to do is just pop one in and take one out, pop in the other, and, and there you have it. So it really is a Mark IV 
repainted with a different arc reactor put into the center of it. Simple as that. Now one of my favorite pieces is the Secret Project Mark IV, which is essentially a Mark IV that has been painted in this manner right here. I really like him um, because he's different. Now the Mark IV Secret Project came fully loaded with glasses and the um, little rockets in the forearms, this flares work, push them and, and twist them and they'll pop out like such. These are things you don't have on the Mark IV re-release. You don't get any of that. So you don't get the little rockets and you don't get the flares on the, the hip. The, they've glued these pieces on, on this Mark IV re-release right here. But, you know, if you feel so inclined, you could interchange the chest, you inter interchange the head, because it is still the same piece. Also, just like on the Mark VI, they've redone the flaps differently. So, these flaps are done exactly like the Mark VI re-release is, where they've painted on the little metal pieces in there instead of making them separate attachments. If you can see that there. So they just painted on those metal pieces where here are actually little pieces that you attach to it. So the paint scheme is a little bit differently in that manner. And then to compare the Mark IV re-release to the Mark IV gantry version, just as on the Mark VI, uh, the re original release of the of the Mark VI, this guy's a little little scuffed up, a little battle damaged, not much. He's not like really battle damaged like some other figures, whereas this piece is, you know, like new as such and I can see again this is kind of a red orange and this is kind of a red blue and now this piece is not magnetic the one that comes with the new Mark IV the Mark IV that comes with the gantry this piece is designed to be attached to the front piece of the gantry so there's a little uh, magnet inside of it that they put on this chest piece Right there that will allow it to attach to the gantry but it should still fit on here with the the new um, the re-release mark 4 because again it's cast from the same piece so you can interchange these should you feel so inclined um, I don't know why you would want to but the, this one is not damaged at all and that one is you know, intentionally scuffed up to make it look battle damaged as such. Now, when the way I display my Mark IV in the gantry is not with this helmet. I display him with a Tony Stark head and glasses that we've seen in the famous Randy's Donut and restaurant scene um, where he has his glasses that he wears. So the paint is the same scheme. The gray on this is a little darker than, or the silver is, and gray are a little darker on this one than it is on here. We can see that specifically on the feet right there. Let's see if we can get a good shot of them. A little darker on the new Mark IV than it is on the original Mark IV. And other than that, he appears to be painted the same except for back in the elbows. 
We have the black stripe on the Mark IV, the new Mark IV compared to the original Mark IV. And that's all I see in regards to differences in paint scheme. Hey, Tony. Great fit and suit. Thanks for letting me uh, borrow it. So, uh, I've got just a small question that maybe you could uh, answer for me. I'm uh, curious, how exactly do you, um, you know, go to the bathroom in this thing? Well, uh, I guess that explains the squishiness I'm getting in the bottom of the suit as I was. Yeah. Also, just like the Iron Man Mark VI, he comes with the new seven-sided stand. It says Iron Man 2, Marvel Iron Man 2 on it. Iron Man 2 Mark IV right there. And down here it has Marvel. Copyright 2016 Hot Toys Limited, all rights reserved. And it comes with this um, figure display stand, uh, the crotch stand. It goes in between his legs and you can lift this up to put him up a little higher. Uh, and one thing different between this and like the others is this is not metal. That's black plastic right there. So thanks for watching everyone. Leave your comments in the section below. Tell me what you think of this figure. Will you be adding him to your collection? Will you be passing on this figure? Will you, are you hoping that they'll make a die cast? Do you already own the original version of this? Do you want to have a clean version of this for yourself? Follow me on Facebook at Siri.Emerald, at Twitter at Siri.Emerald. Follow me on Pinterest at Instagram. Subscribe to me on Patreon. Your help means a lot to me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You'll find that right below this video, right down here. Little thumbs up icon, just click that. Share this video with your friends. That helps out a lot. You'll be notified whenever I make a new video. You're going to want to subscribe to my channel by clicking the icon over here. And then to actually be notified after subscribing to my channel, you're going to want to choose the little bell option. That way you'll receive notifications that I have put up a new video. And to see more videos I made, you'll find them on the right. Thanks again for watching, everyone. See you in the next video. Happy collecting.